It's game day, and we are here at Mr. Beast today at CycloneFanatic.com, joined always by my good friend Tim Sitzman. And Tim, not too often the number one team in the country comes to town. That's what's going to happen tonight at Hilton Coliseum. I'm extra excited for that, and we're going to break that down and give predictions here in just a little bit. First of all, Tim, how's business? How's everything well, going well, here at Mr. Is, Beast? Business is good. You know, I haven't seen you since uh, you've been down to that bowl game in, yeah. in uh, Phoenix, and uh, what a wonderful... Uh, Way to have you return with a victory and a, a terrific uh, time for Cyclone fans all all out there, all you uh, fanatics. That was a great, great game, and and I wanted to wish you a happy New Year, Chris, and uh, and welcome you back to the cold, you. to cold country. I know you've been <laughs> back a while, but it's good to have you back here, and I hope everything's hot and going up at a at. A, Hilton Coliseum tonight with the number one team coming in and exciting time for uh, Cyclone fans. I, I'm telling you, there's a lot going on and uh, a lot of good things to be thankful for as we look into uh, 2010 and, and the optimism. Same here at Mr. V's. I'm yeah. optimistic about spring fall. We've got a lot of new things coming in, Chris, and I'll put a shout out to all you uh, Fanatic fans to come in and see us. we got uh, some good things coming in. We have a sale going on for the next 30 days, so we really? can save some money. What yeah. kind of sale? We, uh, we have all of our seasonal goods marked down anywhere from 30 to 50 percent so wow. it's a time to visit us but let's get back to the, the excitement up at the coliseum tonight what do you what do you think oh uh, big game it, it's all to me i mean it's when you talk texas basketball you got, it comes down to the front court damian james and dexter Pittman. really it's one of the best one two punches if not the best in america but you know what tim i mean i don't think a lot of people are expecting iowa state to win tonight frankly i don't know of anybody other than those kids in the locker room are expecting to win tonight. I mean, biggest thing I want to see, I just want to see him show up and play a really passionate game. I just want to see that fire. Because, frankly, it's been lacked here over the past couple of weeks. We've had a couple of bad outings, I think, as far as enthusiasm. Yeah. But uh, I, I think you're going to see it. I think you're going to see a six-man in the crowd tonight that's mm -hmm. going to boost that uh, enthusiasm for the for the teamers out there on the floor. Yep. And uh, I, I really think it's going to be a competitive game. Uh, you know, if I was predicting, I think it's going to be an uphill battle for the Clones Correct. tonight. Uh, they, they may be, in fact, the number one team. They are, and they could be, at the end of the season, the number one team in the nation. They mm -hmm. certainly have the capability. But we have a very good uh, uh, five starter five there that can, I think, compete. Well, and I was told last night a little inside information for you. That uh, I was told Craig Brackens has looked like the old Craig Brackens in practice this week. Wonderful. And, and that is very refreshing because when Craig Brackens is doing the things that we've seen him do uh, via Kansas last year where he single-handedly kept Iowa State in the game for a period of time, uh, when, when he's able to do those things, now he has guys around him, which we've never really seen before, Frankly, anything can happen, but the thing is, everybody's got to show up. Well, as we know, in, in looking at sport and basketball, good players make other players look better, mm -hmm. and that's his job. He's got to make the players around him look better, and if, if he's on his game and doing his thing, the, the other four players are going to become better ball players, and that's how they're going to immerse as having an opportunity to maybe win that ball game tonight or at least be really close at the end. Yeah, I've been, I, think if, I think if it's really close, if it's an inspired game by the team, I think a lot of people will be happy. Chris, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And I, I think the fans should realize that this is a great ball club and go up there and enjoy that game. If we're close at the end, my gosh, what a, what a wonderful night out to go see that. Only 15 times has an Iowa State basketball team taken on the number one team in the country. Once they did it, and it was Gary Thompson uh, back in 1957. Is, is that the time? They, I, that's good statistics. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's interesting. That's yeah. great. So hopefully tonight, Tim, what's your pick? You're going to I take the Longhorns in a close one? You know one what? I, I got the Longhorns by five. I yeah. think we're going to be competitive. Uh, I'd like to take the clones, and I'm rooting for them out there. I'll tell you what, I, I'd love to see an upset tonight. What a, what a nice a headline in the paper tomorrow. But I, I think I'd have to go with the, that backcourt, is, that front court is unbelievable. Yeah, and it is. Very, very difficult to guard, and, and uh, I, I'd say uh, I'd have to go with the Horns by five. Okay, that's a good pick. I, I agree with you. I think Iowa State shows up tonight. I don't think they win. Uh, it would be a, have to be a perfect storm for Iowa State to pull off the upset tonight. But I think they're going to show up and play. Uh, reports have said that practices have gone very well this week. Supposedly the guys are really acting like they want to be there and showing some enthusiasm. Uh, I'll take Texas. Let's go 80 to 70. I'll go with the Longhorns by 10. 10. You're probably closer to the truth. I went a little bit with my heart. I wanted to see uh, them be competitive. It, and, and who knows? I think 
will be. I think this will be a deal where Texas hits some free throws down at the stretch. end yeah. and, and yeah. kind of stretches it out. I think Coach McDermott will have those guys psyched up. You know, it's uh, you saw it the other night when Kansas played Tennessee that, that the enthusiasm of a home crowd, it, when the, that number one comes in, yeah. it, it's really very difficult for a number one team to perform at their level yeah. with that kind of uh, enthusiastic crowd. And I think we're going to see that at Hilton and tonight. The students haven't been there for about a month. They're, so they're, they're going to be pent up anger there. Yeah, they're going to be <laughs> pumped up and ready to go. We'll see how it goes. But uh, uh, good luck to uh, Coach McDermott and, and the Cyclones tonight on the on the floor, and uh, we're rooting for you. We're, we sure are. Come by and, and say hi to Tim here at Mr. B's 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Tim, have a great day, all right? Uh, it's good to have you home, and uh, thanks for bringing back a victory for uh, Paul Rhodes and those uh, Cyclone football team, and good things for next year. Glad too. to do it. Yeah, it was fun. Glad fun. to do it. All right, we'll be back next week here at Mr. B's. I'm Chris Williams at CycloneFanatic.com.